In a bid to curb the alarming levels of air pollution in the city, the Arvind Kejriwal-led Delhi government has announced an ambitious plan to restrict the movement of private vehicles from 1st January. The formula is not new. There are cities that have implemented road space rationing. So let's have a look at whether this space rationing worked for them or not. Beijing. The two-month initiative was launched initially as a temporary measure in July 2008. The idea was simple, to improve air quality in the city during the Olympics. Implementation, especially enforcement, was made with automated traffic surveillance network. At the time, it seemed rather successful, taking 45% of the 3.3 million car fleet off the streets. While driving restrictions are in place, the policy today is slightly different. The city, as of today, bans nearly a fifth of private vehicles from operating in the city. Paris In March last year, France's capital city Paris decided to implement alternate driving days as a temporary measure after it experienced heavy smog. The move, called Circulation Alternate, was announced by Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo on Twitter. The car ban, however, was stopped after one day despite officials claiming cooperation from citizens. Singapore In 1975, Singapore implemented electronic road pricing through an area license system, which essentially meant that drivers had to pay a flat rate to enter Singapore's central area. The Danish Architecture Centre, DAC, in a blog about EPR, said that the ALS system led to an almost immediate 45% reduction in traffic and a 25% decline in vehicular crashes. Its implementation also meant that today 65% of the commuters in Singapore use public transport and air pollution reductions are consequently significant. London London also has a similar move introduced by the Transport for London TFL in 2003. The fee is charged on vehicles operating within the congestion charge zone, the area around central London. According to a description on the TFL website, the congestion charge is £11.5 daily for driving a vehicle within the charging zone between 7am and 6pm Monday to Friday. There are a range of exemptions and discounts available to certain vehicles and individuals.